So today we are going to talk about quarterbacks, and I hope not to have to do this video for a very long time. And all that's coming up after the bump. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Considering the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. So it's always OU-related, college football-related, sports-related. We have a good time. And today, we are going to talk about quarterbacks. Jalen Hurts, Tanner Mordecai, Tanner Schaefer, and Spencer Rattler. Now, this is the first of... Why am I holding the hammer? Let me put the hammer down. Well, well we're doing some, doing some home improvements. I'm holding the hammer because, yes, home improvements. And don't sweat the backdrop. I know some of y'all watch me, but most of y'all are just paying attention to the sound anyway. And why not get started with quarterbacks when we're talking about the depth chart and position breakdowns? Because, well, I know what you know, what everybody seems to know, except what Lincoln Riley will not admit, which is that Jalen Hurts is going to be named the starting quarterback at the University of Oklahoma. It is a matter of time. Now, there are several different ways that you can view this. One is, hey, RJ, why are you sleeping on Tanner Mordecai? Well, because Tanner Mordecai didn't look great in the spring game, number one. Number two, because Jalen Hurts did not transfer here to sit behind Tanner Mordecai. And for those of you that are drinking that particular brand of Kool-Aid, I'd like to say, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Mordecai. The rest of you have no excuse to think that Tanner Mordecai is going to be the starting quarterback at Oklahoma if for no other reason than Jalen Hurts is on the roster Wearing number one. Now, Tanner Mordecai could turn out to be an outstanding player. Could turn out to be an amazing player. Just not in 2019. Get it. You like the red shirt. You like the red shirt freshman. We all like the red shirt freshman. I like him better as a red shirt sophomore competing against Spencer Rattler, who I'll get to in a minute. But yes, you can make the great argument that Tanner Schaefer looked the best out of all the quarterbacks who play in the spring game, which is why we call it a spring game. It is a glorified exhibition. It is a glorified practice. It's not even on the level of an exhibition for those of us that watch football on the regular places because, well, you see vanilla offenses, you see vanilla defenses, and nobody can hit the guy in the blue jersey. And I tend to believe you can learn a lot about the guy's character in the blue jersey once he starts to get hit. But seeing as he ain't going to get hit until August 31st, uh, maybe you get, nah, you're not even going to get hit during preseason. It's going to be August 31st against Houston before we ever get that dude, get a hand laid on him, and then you get to see what he's made of. That said, Tanner Schaefer has been on campus for some time now. And while you, Mr. and Mrs. Schaefer, might think that your child has a great opportunity to beat both Tanner Mordecai and Jalen Hurts and Spencer Rattler, who's not even on campus yet, that ain't what I think. And, you know, I kind of I kind of know from OU football. Otherwise, what are you doing even watching this channel? Then we're talking about Spencer Rattler, who for some folks is the wild card, and for me is just the red shirt freshman. Love Spencer Rattler. Really love Spencer Rattler. I just don't like him in 2019 to start for Oklahoma. Now, it, it could be a thing. Jalen Hurts could throw 13 picks in the first six games. You know, injuries do happen. But is he really going to come out there before Tanner Mordecai? No, because you want to keep that red shirt. The same red shirt that you got for Tanner Mordecai, because... It's basically the same story again. Kyler Murray was going to be the starting quarterback. I thought Austin Kendall might have been the starting quarterback, but uh, cease fight me for a take I got on Austin Kendall and West Virginia and OU. And yes, I think that this could have been his gig. I've said before, I will say again, Austin Kendall was higher rated than Jalen Hurts coming out same year. Difference is one guy got to start right away as a true freshman the other guy had to sit behind Baker friggin Mayfield and Kyler friggin Murray. Just bad luck. And then you run him off for a guy who has won an ass championship game and played in three. That's Jalen Hurts' job to lose. So, yes, Jalen Hurts is the one. Tanner Mordecai is the two. Tanner Schaefer's going to be the three. Spencer Rattler's going to be the four because he's going to redshirt this year. He'll learn the offense, and he will compete and possibly win, probably win the job in 2020, and that is when the real competition that some people on the channel already want me to jump ahead to, but I'm just not going to do that. We got a lot to focus on in 2019. Like, for instance, can Oklahoma win a national championship if the defense does not make a huge jump? And if we're not playing for national championships, what are we playing for? You know, like, that's, that's kind of how I see it out here. I don't really like where we're headed with this idea that winning Big 12 championships and having a prolific 
school record, NCAA record setting offense is good enough. I don't like it. I don't live there. I live in the place where if you don't break any records and you don't have a great offense and your defense is stout enough to win championships, but you still win championships, that's what you do. I live in the world that the New England Patriot fans have lived in for the last 20 years, which is it doesn't matter how it looks. It matters whether or not you're holding up the Lombardi. It matters whether or not you're pointing at your rings. I really go back to this when we're talking about quarterbacks in depth with Tom Brady, who put it to Brandon Spikes. Brandon Spikes was hurt as all heck that he didn't make All-Pro. Thought he had an All-Pro type season. Thought he should have been a Pro Bowler. And Tom Brady walked up to him and said, Hey, Brandon, get your head up. Rings is what it is here. And that's what I wanted to be at Oklahoma. And the best opportunity you have for being rings here is Jalen Hurts is starting quarterback against Houston on September 1, not August 31st. I was wrong. They moved that game to a Sunday night. Going to be some pros playing on Sunday, Sooner jerseys, in 2019, which means the only pro team in the state of Oklahoma is going to get to play on Sunday. That's a shot across the bow at Russell Westbrook and this thing y'all call the Thunder. This uh, three first round exits. Why y'all holding up Mr. Triple Double, but that is an entirely different video. All right, that is it for me. Deuces.